are on storm watch yet again. It hasn't been a long break for us here, but we had a little bit of some quieter weather late last week. Temperatures really warmed up across the western tier of the nation, but since then we have cooled down big time here as again this storm has been dropping southward bringing in cooler weather and also this same storm is going to be sliding eastward into the central part of the nation. Wednesday night into Thursday bring some really, really messy weather. We're talking about snow into the Rockies and then across the north central upper Midwest, everything from rain to ice to snow and even the possibility of severe Severe storms. So we're going to be tracking that here from Wednesday into Thursday and eventually down the line Friday into the Northeast. So let's talk about it here, here in the north central tier of the nation where today we have some lingering chill in the upper Midwest, but temperatures in the plains are about 5 to 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. It's 47 degrees right now in Omaha, 47 out towards Hastings, 39 in Sioux Falls, 12 degrees for you out towards Duluth. By tomorrow, another push of colder air arrives and begins to come on in here, and we're looking at this mix here. Chicago could be starting out as plain old rain, but you'll transition to ice and eventually plain old snow as we head towards your Thursday. So Wednesday's highs, 17 in Bismarck, 31 in Rapid City, 29 out towards Sioux Falls. But you'll notice again that sharp temperature contrast here. Elsewhere, we're looking at Wichita, about 3 to 6 inches of snow in the forecast for you. Indianapolis, 1 to 3 inches. St. Louis, 1 to 3 inches in the forecast from Wednesday night through Thursday night. Uh, there's also a much warmer side to this storm. And that's going to be across the plains, the south central tier of the nation for today. It's a warm, dry day. We have this warm front that is lifting on through. Temperature is wide spread mid to upper 60s and climbing 68 out towards Midland 66 in Dallas 64 in Little Rock and this is kind of the core of the warmth today but what it's going to do is slide northeastward as we go through the next several days here and with that we have the warmth we'll have the humidity and the possibility that we'll be developing here through eastern Texas eastern Oklahoma and starting to climb into Arkansas and into Louisiana the warmth is certainly there for Wednesday the zone that we're watching for severe weather Wednesday night is going to be again from San Antonio perhaps right on the edge of that up towards Waco, Dallas, Oklahoma City, Little Rock, and Shreveport. Some of these areas are going to be well into the overnight period here. Tornado threats certainly on the table, flooding downpours, and damaging wind gusts. Those winds are going to be howling within some of these storms. I think that's going to be one of the primary threats here moving forward. So for our Wednesday evening, Wednesday night storm, threat again. swing it on through, and behind it, dramatically colder here. We're going to be seeing a big-time drop in temperatures across the south central. In fact